But pain actually, you know, stuck with him and he used it as, you know, a weapon for life. I learned how I gotta keep going. I gotta make something of my life. I know how far he came and I know where he's trying to go. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to get him where we need to go. We moved from New Jersey when I was like one. We moved to Virginia. Isaiah was actually born in Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, I was actually three. And um, yeah, when we got to Virginia, it was actually like, it was really a blur. Cause you know, every year we move in and it's like, we make friends, we leave with friends. We can't really see them again and we're young. So it's like, you know, we really didn't know what was going on. So it's like a lot of people from our past can't really remember a lot because it's just, it was a blur. My brother, he's a big part of my life, actually. He, he really motivated me a lot when I wanted to give up, but he wouldn't let me, so I was like, yeah. That's like a dad to me, really. I can say that's a father figure in my life. My dad not here, so I had to look up to him a lot, so I listened to him and my mom a lot. I always see where his head at. That's why, like, that's why I say, I'll say, like, what you think about this? He'd be like, oh, it's okay. You know, but I know it kind of bothered him. You know, but I, don't, I didn't get too in debt because I know what his focus was. And it was, you know, become the best basketball player, the best student he can. Basketball is a big part of our lives. So every time we, we see something, we want to do something, we'll be like, yeah, let's go get a, get a ball. Let's play one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go work out. Basketball became life for the Miller brothers. Ben excelled on the court, helping lead Eastside High School to its first Georgia High School Association state trip in eight years. His play received the interest of junior colleges around the country. He was good enough to go to college. He just, certain life decisions prevented him to do that. You know, out of high school, I had my child. I had, a, I had my son, Braylon, and um, I made a decision to not actually take that scholarship and to actually take care of my son at the time. And that next year, I went to Miles. So I actually, you know, act, like try to accomplish my dreams. Something happened with his transcript because he was paying. It did something with the money, so yeah. I was I was kinda depressed when he came back. I was like, what are you doing here? But it's alright now though. He's he's on the right track now. When Ben graduated from Eastside, it was Isaiah's turn to represent the Miller name. Eastside, oh I went dummy at Eastside, but those were my best basketball years. I really had a team, a team full of like I just grew up with, like with middle school and everything. I just been with them forever. I love them boys. I was at Eastside all the time. I was helping with the team and everything. They was like, oh, your little brother's better than you and all this. He's only a freshman here. He's very competitive, but he gets it from me. I'm very hard on him. I'm tough on him. And like to this day, I say, you ain't doing nothing. You, you ain't get where you gotta go. You ain't doing, you ain't did nothing yet. And people always say that I'm too hard on him, that he's accomplished a lot. For, and especially for our family, our family on both sides. Nobody ever experienced this. The atmosphere, the love, the, the talent, like nobody can actually get past the high school. By his junior season, Isaiah was averaging 25 points, six rebounds, and four steals a game. His stellar play led to interest from top division one schools in the nation. He had a lot of interest off big schools, Georgia, Auburn, Georgia State, um, Kansas State, a lot of them wanted him. Uh, it was just really to the point where he came from Eastside and his grades academically wasn't really up to par for them D1 schools. When he got to Newton, he knew what his, what his focus was. I switched to Newton because like academic reasons. I needed, I needed academic help a lot. I went somewhere I know I can like prevail. I know my athletics gonna be okay, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go come here for academic reasons. And they really helped me. Newton really helped me academically. His transition to Newton was flawless. He started for the Rams, averaging 20 points, six rebounds, and three steals a game. A feat good enough to land him on the Georgia Athletic Coaches Association Class 7A All-State North Division team. Mid-majors started calling, high-majors sent him feelers. Most schools didn't pull a trigger on offering him because of one off-the-court concern, his grades. See, with Isaiah, he actually needs to feel 
the experience too a little bit um we can tell him something just like me like you can tell him something but he actually have to see his grades going down a little bit or something like i don't know why like the pressure the pressure makes us you know it just build us like a diamond you know it was a lot of pressure me and my family we was a lot of, it felt like a lot of pressure but i was like i told my family i'm gonna bust through it and i and i think i did compared to all my other years i think i really did good I ended up doing like a whole bunch of work. Every time I had nothing to do, I was doing homework. My mom made sure I was doing homework. When it was time, he applied himself. And I made sure that, and because I know I didn't apply myself. And uh, I told him like, is this what you want to do? Is this really what you want to do? Do you want to do this for the rest of your life? Tell me now. Because, you know, I can help you with something else. But with this basketball and schooling, this is what you have to do. I didn't make it for a reason. And the decisions I made, he didn't make them. Isaiah ended up receiving the best grades of his academic career. He was able to qualify for Division I basketball. May 13th, 2017, Isaiah signed down with the school that stayed with him from the start, the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. UNCG, when I came on the campus, I was like, yeah, I have a support system behind me. I know they're gonna take care of me. So I was like, yeah, this is the place for me right here. She was happy. She was crying when I left too. I was like, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It was hard when he left because it's like all our lives, we've been together, we've been here. And when he left, it was just, <laughs> it was like a dream come true though, man. So it really didn't take a toll on me that much, but I felt some type of way. I was very emotional that, you know, he actually accomplished, accomplished his, his dreams. And um, it was just something great to see. With a little help from each other, both Miller boys have their minds right, working together to achieve a childhood dream. I learned how I gotta keep going. I gotta make something of my life, so I'm hoping basketball will put me there. I can go pro or something. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to the big leagues. I feel like he's the best player in the country right now. I, said, I always felt like that. I always feel like he's the best player in the world. And um, he's my favorite player. As soon as he went to UNCG, that's my team. You know, he's my favorite player, that's my favorite team. And I'm supporting, I believe. I believe UNCG can make, win the championship now. I know how far he came, and I know where he's trying to go. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to get him where he needs to go.